Hey everyone, Michael Bodner here with another Tesla Tunity, and today we're going to take a look at tires on my wife's Model 3. How do you know when it's the right time to rotate your tires? We're going to use a tire tread depth gauge. I'm going to show you how it works and uh, walk you through the process, so come along with me. All right, so we're set up here at the driver's side rear tire. Um, you're going to repeat this process four times. Really simple. You don't have to do it all the time. I do it once every couple months just to uh, check in. Tesla recommends every 6,500 miles, so I'm definitely checking more frequently than that just to be safe. But here's how you do it. So we're going to take our tire depth gauge here. You can see the uh, white part here is pushed all the way in. I'm going to put it on the tire and I'm just going to push forward until this black part is flat on the tire. Pull it back, and then there's your reading. So you're gonna rotate around, you're gonna look for the right reading where the line is. You can see right there, we've got a seven, so that's seven thirty seconds. So that's the wear on the outer edge of the tire. Now we're gonna repeat that process. So we're gonna get into the middle of the tire. We could pick either, uh, you can see there isn't really a perfect middle here, so we'll grab right here. All right, and then pull it back. And this one is just under, you could, there we go, better angle for you, just under the 8.30 seconds line. So close to seven, um, but closer to eight. We'll do this again on the inside part of the tire. All right, take it back, rotate around, get you a good look at it. And there you go. So again, we're at a 7.30 seconds. Now, that tells me these tires are in really good shape. Again, I'm gonna measure all the way around, see where we're at. Um, in the case of my wife's car, this is actually post tire rotation. So these tires were up front just uh, about 15 minutes ago. They wouldn't let me record it, unfortunately. So I'll walk you through what that looked like. Um, but the rear tires were slightly more worn than the front tires. It's what you'd expect, it's a rear bias car. Uh, now remember, the Tesla Model 3, really all of the Teslas, all electric cars, there's a lot of torque. So you go through these tires maybe faster than a regular ICE car would. It's really important to rotate the tires for maximum life. Now it might be hard to see here in the picture. I try to get my finger on it. There's a thing there in the tread, it's called a wear bar. Um, that's kind of your, your safety net. Without checking, you'll know if the tread is worn all the way away and you can see this wear bar going across the tire, you know you're uh, pretty much at the replacement point, but we don't want to get you there as, uh, or we want to get you there as slowly as possible, make your tires last. So again, a couple bucks, I'll put a link online for you. Grab one of these tools. Um, you can see it's color coded, so it lets you know when you're uh, kind of in the good area, getting down to yellow, warning and red, you better replace your tires, you're not in good shape. Again, um, I'll have it in the description down below. Um, so what they did was they rotated the rear tires to the front, the front tires to the rear. Really simple, took about 15 minutes and cost 20 bucks. Um, you could have it done at your local tire place. Okay, so it's time to rotate the tires. Um, how did we know? Well, the rear tires were worn down slightly more, about 1 32nd more than the front tires. And we wanna let those front tires catch up. We don't want them to be too far apart from each other. We want the car to even out. So we take the front tires, move them to the back. We take the back tires, move them to the front. And then over the next couple thousand miles, they will even out and then we will do the process over again. So it's time to rotate. Well, the Tesla, unfortunately, or fortunately, it's a special car. It's not like other cars. You wanna protect these um, side skirts here. They are, uh, uh, as you get in here, you'll see the jack point. There's a little opening, it's a, it's a hole here. Um, now, in a normal car, you'll just bring it over to the tire place. They'll put their jack right here or their lift and they'll lift up the car, no problem. Well, in the Tesla, you've got the battery pack to worry about. You don't wanna do any damage. So you're gonna take your jack puck. I'll have a link to let you know where to get them. And um, you'll find this opening. It'll accept the uh, top part here of the jack puck. Push up and there you go. So now, instead of lifting against the uh, body of the car or the battery cover, they will actually place their jack right under that jack puck and lift the car up. You'll be good to go. When they're done, wiggles right out and you're done, that's it. That's all it takes to rotate the tires on your Tesla Model 3. So hopefully you take in your car to a, a local trusted tire shop. They do a good job for you and uh, get you back out on the road and get these tires lasting as long as possible. 
Well, there you have it. So that is tire rotations on your Tesla Model 3. Really simple, really straightforward. Grab some jack pad pucks. I know they're uh, relatively expensive, uh, but you don't want to cause any damage underneath your car. They're sold individually or in sets of four. Depending on your use case, you know, if you're changing a flat tire, you only need one. If you're bringing your car to a tire shop to get a tire rotation, they're going to put it up on a on a lift and they're gonna lift from all four points at once. So it probably makes sense to grab a set of four, throw them in your trunk with your uh, charging equipment, you'll be good to go. Again, I'll have a link in the description down below. Um, I got a set that's pretty expensive, so I'm gonna do a check to see if I can find any cheaper ones for you and I'll, uh, I'll give you a link to the exact set I'm using and maybe some alternatives as well so you can pick what's best for you. All right, well, if you're buying a new Tesla and you'd like to have 1,000 miles of free supercharging, please consider using my referral code when placing your order. That'll give you 1,000 miles, that'll give me 1,000 miles of free supercharging, so we'll both be happy about that. Uh, the link is down below, it is Michael34469, but you can click on the link in the description or the comment area, that'll take you right to the order page and take care of it for you. So that's it. That's all I have for you. Keep your tires safe and we'll catch you on the next one, everyone. Bye.